Okay, so finally back with Lord of the Rings Two Towers. Damn BA divide, I'd completely forgotten about that. So this is part eight, I think, and you'll have to forgive random clicking. So avid viewers, of which there are none, will remember that last time I was here I'd just kind of gotten Boromir slightly killed dead and had an emotional cutscene to completely the wrong kind of music and uh, now I'm in Rohan random spitted bull loving the detail and avid music lovers will realize that that has nothing to do with Lord of the Rings music at all don't know if there's actually any avid music lovers listening to this, but... Hmm. Anyway. Oh, hell. Oh, yeah. So. Orokai, of which, as I believe I mentioned before, there will be many. 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 This is, after all, Lord of the Rings Two Towers. Oh. You remember when I mentioned Aragorn is a shit ally? Well, that's why. Ah! No, you don't. See that? He's not doing a damn thing. Don't ask me why. Is it a glitch? Is it intentional? Or is it... I don't care. Point is, he's useless. Fortunately, he's not your most common ally. Which, to be fair, if he was, you'd be kind of screwed. Ah! Crevine! Die! Don't you dare summon Sauron! Yes! Killed it! So... Yeah, mostly, as I said, you fight against these guys from here on in. Although occasionally you will run into this lot. Orcs. Uh, to be fair, the whole Orokai to Orc ratio is considerably better in the Game Boy version than it is in the console version, because if you remember the if anyone's ever played the Two Towers for like GameCube, Xbox, PS2, etc., you'll know that there are, in fact, a shit ton of orcs and goblins amongst the Isengard forces in that game. Which there shouldn't be, because there are like no orcs or goblins in the Isengard forces in the film. But uh, yeah, it is an entirely Urukai based affair in this game, which I think is quite good. Accuracy. Since this game lacks it in a lot of ways. It's good for it to be in some places. Ah, uh, did do do. Oh yeah, Urukai Berserkers. If anyone remembers the axe dudes who I mentioned get up occasionally and don't actually die, Berserkers do the same thing. Except that they're also incredibly damaging, in a way that axe dudes really aren't. Let's sell some of this random bullshit. Ah. One thing I had forgotten, the BA divide, which I will explain since I never actually did. I'm playing on an Xbox controller, and B and A have been swapped to being A and B, if you get what I mean. So, yeah, not brilliant. Also means occasionally one makes a few schoolboy errors. Uh, nah, I don't want that. In fact, I'm not entirely certain I don't want any of those. That might be useful. That might be useful. I haven't got any of those to do. So, onwards, and in fact upwards as well. Or downwards, in this instance. Those are meant to be tree stumps, just so you're aware. They don't look much like tree stumps to me. So, why tree stumps would have gems in them is, again, beyond me. Unless, ah! Or a Kyberzerkus. Never let them catch you off guard. I think I've sort of resigned myself to the embarrassing deaths by now. Plus, to be fair, I haven't played this game on this for, like, months, and in between filming this, filming the last one and filming this, all sorts of shit that's happened that is just untrue. So, yeah. Well, not untrue in the traditional sense. Plus side, I had sold most of the random shit, so I can pick up new random shit. Oh yeah, visible spawning. Another sign that this is in fact a Game Boy game. Ah, Aragorn, why are you shit? 
King of all bloody Gondor, he's got to be one of these days. I don't think I was going to play him for these. I think I was going to do so less out of the fact that he's a good character and more out of the fact that I don't want to be playing Legolas for the rest of my life. It was kind of my thing back in my youth to just constantly play the elf. Ah! Really? <laughs> yeah, that, that, this is where the game takes a sudden spike in difficulty. If me dying twice hadn't already cued you in on that. It's embarrassing, yes, but it's also a good lesson for you. Don't get anywhere near the Urukai. This is where being a missile character comes in handy. I mean, Urukai are generally tough bamps in this game. I mean, it's only when you get to the really high levels that you're actually able to successfully deal with them as a mook. They're not even elite mooks, they're just... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not even elite mooks, they're... Did I let a crabang get away? Yeah, I let a crabang get away, and that is why Aragorn is spazzing like that. Now, to cue you in on one other thing that's kind of annoying... Would you believe you actually get to play Eowyn, and where I'm fighting against these guys at something like level 10, uh, she tends to be around level 5 or 6 when she gets to them. I've died twice. Think of that, what you will. Orc archers! Should have just totally left you bastards behind by now. Oh, that! Didn't remember I had that. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to sit here and meditate for a minute. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to do this. That is that skill. Now, it didn't actually summon the dude because there's nobody around here for it to hit, but ah. See? Summons a dude. Well, summons a bird, stuns a dude. It's fun, fun, fun. So many random barrels. Honestly, you walk to such litter bugs. Yeah, for some reason animals don't have a stun animation, they have a they just freeze. But then this is a Game Boy game, you can't expect animation to be perfect. Well you can, but it's an unrealistic expectation. The only problem with being a missile character is pulling back to range can sometimes be a pain in the ass when the enemy are fast, like, for example, those guys. So fleet of foot which is one of the passive skills that I put some points into, can actually prove quite helpful. Berserkers, of course. Everybody loves a berserker. Except me, I hate berserkers. They're evil. Forge, because forging. Ah! EA. Sounds a bit like EA. You know, funny thing, EA used to make games like this and be alright. Nowadays EA are doing stuff like pissing off Mass Effect fans. Which, to be fair, is perfectly understandable. That they'd be pissed off, not that EA would want to. Uh, love, gotta love some of these sounds. They're just crazy. Anyway, oi! Ah, the second of the Rohan noises. Well, Rohan soundtracks, same difference. I'm not even going to start... I'm, I'm just going to stop commenting on the BA divide, because it, it should be obvious by now. So, Rohan Plains. Now, a lot of these maps are reused for campaigns like Aragorn's, Eowyn's, oh, all sorts of people's. Which is probably a sign of budget saving on the part of the development team. For which, I suppose, you can't blame them. After all, making a video game is an expensive business, and if you can save money by reusing maps where appropriate, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't. Ah, 
Never in my life have I been so happy to see a health ball. <sighs> yep. That's embarrassing. <sighs> oh well. I'm never gonna get to level 12 at this rate. Kicking ass like a boss. Kind of makes up for my death a tiny bit. To be fair, at level 10, fighting against Urukai in these numbers, I am pretty surprised at my ability, especially since it's on an unfamiliar control system. Well, unfamiliar control system in that I'm playing on an Xbox controller. So yeah, I'm not so embarrassed by my performance so far. I mean, I'm not thrilled, but... You know, for a Game Boy game of, like, 2001's caliber, the actual graphics aren't terrible. I mean, sure, they're not brilliant, but, you know, everything is clearly what it is meant to be. Legolas's outfit actually resembles Legolas's outfit from the films, instead of just being a green blob of pixels. You know, it's actually what it's trying to be, and what the hell? Random goblins. Okay, then. I'm just not going to comment on that, because that's just outside of my range of expertise entirely. I didn't know they were there, and what the hell. <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, everything looks like it's supposed to. Oh. I may have mentioned that character models and animations are reused from the Two Towers game for the PS2. And the reason I'm dodging this guy instead of actually shooting him is to show you this guy moves like one of the berserkers from that game. He even dies like one. The same can be said, I think, for all of these, an these animations. Now, I don't know how much actual crossover there was between the various teams and... You know, I don't know if anyone has actually bothered asking them, but, you know, it's clear that there was some crossover, which I suppose is good. It, it has a sense of unity, if you, like you're playing the same kind of game, even though in reality, of course, the two games are insanely different. One of them's mainly an action-based, mission-based chopper-chopper, and one of them's a run around a bit like Diablo picking up gems. Can't actually say which one I prefer. Because, you know, this is nice. This is good. I like this, but at the same time, nothing beats the console version for, you know, just movie tie-in awesomeness, I suppose. Also, a, big, a bit of a bugbear for you. Why does people call stuff the console version? A Game Boy Advance is a console. It's a handheld console, but it's a console nonetheless. Crazy. Anyway, I've yappered on enough in this particular level. Let's move on to the next level. And the loud, annoying music is back. Isn't that fun? Oh, Crabine. Trust me, you ever come to play this game, you will hate Crabine as much as I hate Crabine, because they're annoying. You see that his, his arrows track occasionally, as in they aim in the general direction of the enemy, but sometimes they just don't, or they do it badly. Which can be kind of annoying. Now, one of the troubles I have with this game, as indeed with a lot of games that are tying games, is that they miss out a shit ton of, like, plot points. Oh, wonderful. Legolas and Aragorn. No, Aragorn and Gimli running off, leaving me behind to face off against all this lot. Well, thanks, guys! Is this Pickle the Elf Day? I mean, honestly. One of the things that gets improved in the later Return of the King game for Game Boy Advance. Huh. One of the things that improves greatly come uh, the Return of the King game is, well, the fact that your allies, A, become more of a registered presence, they take damage, they get targeted, and B, you know, you, you know, get them more often, and they're more helpful. I mean, look at these guys, they're just standing still doing nothing. 
I like me actually, but I'm doing it for a reason. Ha. Huh. Speaking of reasons, that's the 15 minute mark, so I'll see you in the next vid. Take care, humans.